6.30. Claudia, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Texas, wow, I knew I was loud. I didn't know it was quite that loud. Listen, I appreciate you joining us. And it's 6.30, March 29th, night, uh, 19. Oh, boy, here we go. March 29th, 2021. And we are moving through the year very rapidly. Here's the information you need. Oh, there you go. You thought my computer was upside down. No, just my sign. Material Mart, here's the information that you need to know where we are. Not Midland, Texas, Claudia, Midland, Michigan. And the phone number, our email, our website. You can purchase fabric on our website. Encourage you to take advantage of all that. Let me just throw a plug in for EQ8 as well while I'm holding this up. We have put all of our fabric on in, in, a, in a library, in a program. And if you have EQ8, you can upload all of our fabric into your EQ8 library. And then as you're designing quilts, you can check and say, oh, I wonder if material, mar oh, they do have it. And you can put it in. And we try to update that every single month. We put in the new stuff that we received and we take out the stuff that we sold out of. So hopefully that that library will stay as accurate as it can be the entire year. It's $25 for the year. And oh, and Houghton Lake, there you go. Yeah, it's as accurate as we can through the year. But I encourage you, if you have EQ8 or if you know someone that has EQ8, please to check us out online and think about purchasing that because it's a great addition to your EQ8. Just a couple of things here as, as we get going. Let's see, anybody else there? Okay. What do you what do you what do you call a beehive with no exit? Some of you might keep bees, or maybe you know somebody that keeps bees. What do you call a beehive that has no exit? Here we go. You ready? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. A beehive with no exit. Yeah, you can use that. That's okay. That's not copyrighted with me. I'm sure that you're going to use it tomorrow at work. Listen, I was feeling pretty good this morning when I came in. I, got, I left the house early, had to run a few errands, swung by... Starbucks picked up a drink, and as I was driving, joy oh, just getting sadder and sadder. I, I know what's going on. I just was, I didn't start the day that way, just kind of gloomy and like a cloud of the sun was shining. It was a beautiful day, but and then I got to think and I thought, oh dear, I ordered the wrong thing at Starbucks. Instead of, instead of ordering an espresso, I ordered a despresso. Oh. That makes total sense. Listen, when you go to Starbucks, be careful what you order. Stay away from those depressos. They just don't start your day off well. All right. And some of you know that we do bring our two dogs in the store, Skittles and Mississippi, usually on Saturdays and Mondays for sure. Sometimes other days of the week also. But we've had a little bit of trouble with them. We realize that they've begun chasing people on scooters. So we had to really watch that. We had to take their scooters away because they were chasing people on their scooters and just not good for a dog to chase somebody on a scooter. So they can no longer play with their scooters, but that's okay. They're still pretty good dogs and, and we love them. And so that's good. They're over there sleeping, waiting for, waiting to head home. Today, we talk about a couple different things. Uh, summers, ah, I'm glad Monique, they're pretty good pups. Summer is coming. I know it's not officially here, but as we move into Easter and this weekend, it's kind of the unofficial beginning of spring, I know, uh, and, and summer. So Easter's here this Sunday, and we think we begin thinking of spring. I look out the window, and the, the it's just beautiful out there. Sunny, I think it's a little chilly, but that sun is just fantastic. So don't forget the 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 summer stuff that we have. We have these this mesh that you can make bags with these this mesh is 18 inches wide 36 inches in length so you can make quite a few bags thanks joyce <laughs> i want you to think about making these bags i i went around the store i apologize we don't have any patterns currently i kind of goofed on that but you can find free patterns online to make these bags out of this mesh and they're really great because when you go to the beach or, you, or you're out at the lake and you start putting your stuff back in your bag and there's dirt and sand. And the really great thing is this, well, all that dirt and sand 
will drain out in the back seat of your car and it won't get in your house. It's just wonderful. Instead of tracking all that in your house, it'll drain out into the back seat of your car. So think about that. We have lots of different colors here. This is a purple. This is the only purple we have. So uh, we have black, we have red, we have green. Oh, I hit myself in the schnout. Two different colors of green, lime green, forest green, three different colors of green, red, white. We do have a lot of colors. So once you think about making one of those bags for yourself, your spouse, your grandchildren, your children, your nieces, nephews, your friends, there you go. We have quite a few of them here. I'm going to set them back here out of the way so that I don't hit myself again. And then I also have some, some fabric. I'm going to tip this down. Hopefully you can see this fabric here. This is summer fabric. We have umbrellas. We have flip-flops. We have beach equipment on sand, laying on sand. We have seashells. And then this is a like awning or tent fabric, which you can use to make different things. It's a fun fabric. So. Think about it. Summer is soon to be upon us. You'll be at the beach. Now, I have to pull some of these down because I want to show you something else in a moment. I'm going to try to do this without knocking off my other stuff. All right. So in the web, on the title and in the, in the newsletter, I talked about skinny, skinny bowls. What in the world is skinny? Uh, well, if you're drinking Starbucks coffee and you order a skinny, that means you ordered it with skim milk or low-fat milk, some kind of skim, skim or semi-skimmed milk. If you're talking about somebody and you're saying about something that's confidential, you might, hey, uh, let me give you the skinny. Uh, let me give you the skinny on how he likes breakfast. It becomes like a term of information. Usually gossip, usually not good. Don't gossip. That, that never ends well. Ah, that's bad stuff. But that's sometimes how we use it. Speaking of business, if you've had a slow month or maybe minimal profits, you might say, because of the holidays, our profit margins will be skinny. That means they'll be kind of slim, kind of small. And if you're speaking of clothes, it's pants that are too narrow or too slender for a 60 year old man to try to squeeze into. However, I have threatened my children more than once. Now, one of these days, you never know, but they say to me, don't you even think about getting squeezing yourself into those any skinny pants or skinny jeans. Anyway, hi, Elizabeth or Beth, good to see you too. Mercina, good to have you. Some adjectives, some not adjectives, synonyms for skinny. Thin, scrawny, scraggly, bony, spindly, gangly, gaunt, rangy, lanky. They all mean skinny. So what in the world am I talking about when we talk about skinny bolts? Well, skinny bolts are bolts of fabric that have just a little bit of fabric left. Most bolts come in at 15 yards. We do get some at 10 yards. And then some certain fabrics come in at 20 yards, but there are only one or two of those. Usually it's 15 and occasionally 10. But as it sells down, we get bolts and pretty soon you're down to a yard or a yard and a half. And it's really hard to keep the fabric on the bolt. It falls off and it's very frustrating. Usually we pull those and either put them in our scrap box or we put them on the sale shelf. But what we're going to do is we're going to sell those at a special time next Monday. Next Monday on Material Mart Musings, we're going to sell skinny bolts. Skinny bolts are bolts of fabric. Let me tip this back down. Bolts of fabric that just have a minimal amount of fabric. This one has two and a third. This has three and a quarter. This has one and a half. This has one and an eighth yards. This has one and a quarter. I think this one has two and, a, and three eighths. Just, just small amounts. They're not enough to do a huge quilt. They're probably big enough to do maybe a, pro, a wall hanging or a table runner or something. There, there's enough fabric on them to do something, but just we need to move them out. They, we stack them in the wall and the fabric falls down and then it's messy and ah, we don't like that. So next Monday, a week from today, Material Mart Musings, we will be selling at a discount skinny bolts. Hopefully this Thursday, maybe Friday, probably Wednesday or Thursday, I am going to come in and I'm going to take video of all the bolts that we're going to sell. And we're going to have them numbered and hopefully we'll have exactly how much fabric is in each one. And then over the weekend, you can look at those. 
you can look at those skinny bowls and then you can say, well, I want that. I want that. I want that. And then on Monday, start buying and, and give the number of the fabric as we come online and Leslie will show them again. But at 6.30 on Monday, that would be, I guess that'd be April 5th. We're going to sell those skinny bolts at a discount, but not until Monday. So don't start signing in early. Don't, you know, please don't do that. But we are going to show you so that you have an idea of what's selling. Gives you an idea of what, hey, I could use that or no, I don't need that. Or I know some of them might need that. Hey, I was just looking for that fabric. I need that. So skinny bolts. Bolts with minimal amounts of fabric on them, still great fabric, but we just need to get them off our shelf so they don't look so, so frumpy, all right? So that's what a skinny bolt is. And I encourage you to tune into the website and to Facebook Friday, Saturday, Sunday, look at what's going to be for sale and even Monday morning. And then at 6.30 next Monday, April 5th, we'll be selling skinny bolts. And we look forward to it. I'm hoping we move them all. It'll be first come, first served, We we and we're gonna sell the whole bolt. We, we're not gonna cut these for you. It's not that much on there and they will be discounted. So whatever it is, you just say, I want bolt number 625 or whatever we have it labeled and we will get it to you and get your, give us your phone number and all that. But again, not until next Monday during this material mark musings. All right, thank you so much for joining us. Let me see what else I have. Remember this Friday and Saturday, we are closed. We have to update our computers. We have to update the computer uh, system itself. <laughs> Sorry, Joyce. I, if you <laughs> if you get into trouble, I apologize. But there you go. Um, we do sell some ribbon. We do sell some ribbon. We don't sell a lot of ribbon. We have we have some. So uh, for for you that are asking, is it Griselda? Uh, come on in and check it out. We do have a little bit of fabric. And so, uh, Joyce, if you get in trouble with the bolts, well, sorry, but that's okay. <laughs> so, so we are closed Friday and Saturday. We have to update the operating system, and we have to update our point-of-sale system. And it's going to be inconvenient for a couple of days, and we're hoping that everything goes smoothly, as smoothly as possible. So we have to take the computers over to the computer person. They're going to take care of them, and then Monday we'll update the, the point-of-sale system. It'll be an exciting time. So uh, remember that Friday and Saturday, we're closed. It's a busy month. We have so many things going. April 10th is my Sonet Basics from 10 to 1. If you're trying to learn that system, then please come and check it out. You don't have, you don't have to own it at this time. But if you're just interested in finding out about it, on the newsletter, there's a little blurb. On the website, there's a little blurb about it. Uh, you don't need to bring anything, but if you do have it, if you already have MySonet, then bring your computer and you can play around with it, but that's not necessary. If you're just wondering what it's all about, this is a great opportunity. The 15th of April is Wool Club. Here's a couple things they've made in the past, the pin cushion. I, I'm not 100% sure what they're making now, but this is all hand sewn and this is great and, and don't say e, christmas is long time it's not that far if you're making projects so there's a couple things for wool club rock my boat on april 17th some of you remember we had the contest the wisdom quilt challenge one of the persons said as soon as they saw the pattern the things they had learned in rock my boat really helped them design and think and go outside the box a little bit so that's been a great class Embroidery Club for this month has been moved to Friday, April 23rd, April 24th, EQH spoke class. That simply means we have a we have a central class. If you've taken that central class, then we have spokes and you can take them or not take them. It doesn't matter. This one's on fabric management. The 28th of April is the Dresden plate class. Uh, Linda will be teaching that if you have any questions. Uh, if you have any questions, talk to Linda. I believe that's the 28th. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, Dresden Plate Classroom 10 to 1. Hey, just a ton of things happening. This list of what's happening is on the website, uh, on the newsletter. So check that out. Hope to see you in the store. I've rambled for long enough. Here's the information you need to know. Y'all have a great week. Hope to see you in the store. If not, have a great Easter weekend. Bye-bye.